ऑन पेज ऑप्टिमाइजेशन मोस्ट पावरफुल वे टू इम्प्रूव योर गूगल सर्च इंजन रैंकिंग एंड हैव लॉट ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक ट्रैफिक ऑन योर वेबसाइट और ऑन योर ब्लॉग समटाइम पीपल थिंक इज वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बट इट इज नॉट सो आई प्रिपेयर दिस बिगनेस गाइड नो मैटर वट कैंड वेबसाइट यूज मे बी यूज वर्ड प्लेस वेबसाइट विद एनी प्लग इन रैंक मैप यूज और ऑल इन एस यू प्लग इन और यूज विक्स वेबसाइट और ब्लॉगर वेबसाइट द कॉन्सेप्ट द सेम द प्रिंसिपल द सेम After watching this video, you will know how to do on-page SEO of your website and rank higher and get lot of organic traffic. And if you're new on my channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on all the notification so that you get updates whenever I release any important video about blogging, SEO, or web development. With that said, let's start this beginner guide to on-page SEO. On-page SEO is all about optimizing title, meta description, and the content on your blog post or your page. So let's understand this with this example. So this is a blog post about how to roll back or downgrade WordPress version. Here you can see I have given step by step instruction. I wrote step one: install WordPress downgrade plugin, and then I shown how you can do that with the help of a screenshot. Then step two: go to setting, click WP downgrade. Then step three, and then again picture. Then step four, and then step five. And in the end, I added a video also on my blog post that how people can downgrade WordPress version. So now how we can do the on page SEO on this blog post or any blog post on your website. And guys, please remember this video is not about WordPress. This is WordPress website, but the concept and the principle I'm going to tell you will be applied to any kind of website, whether you have Wix website, Shopify, Blogspot website, WooCommerce website, or any kind of custom website. So now what I will do, I will click on edit post here, or you can edit the post in your editor, whichever kind of platform you're using for your website or your blog. In WordPress, it become little bit easier if you're using Rank Map plugin, Yoast SEO, AI SEO plugin, or any other kind of SEO plugin on your website. In another kind of platform, you do not have this option, but you can follow the same principle I'm showing on this tutorial. So, in case, for example, using Rank Map plugin, you can click here on Rank Map, and then you will see this option here for basic SEO. If you're using Yoast SEO or AI SEO plugin, you have the very similar option. But because I'm using Rank Map on websites, so I'm taking help of Rank Map plugin, and I really like Rank Map plugin. It is very easy and very detailed plugin. To manage the SEO of your website, you can see a by default rank map plugin. We have this score twelve out of hundred, and we have a lot of actions what we can use to improve the on-page SEO. You can see here first is add focus keyword to SEO title. For example, this is a blog post about how to roll back or downgrade WordPress version. I think this is too much. I need to change this blog post with just how to downgrade WordPress version, not how to roll back downgrade because it is also important, guys. How you are writing your content, it should be easy to understand for people. So I'm just changing this to how to downgrade WordPress version. So now this is my focus keyword. What I will do, I'll just copy this, and in case of rank math, and then I will add the focus keyword, and then you can see just by adding focus keyword, our score become 50. So this is the first basic need. You need to target the focus keyword of your blog post. So once we edit it, then we need to make sure you can see here focus keyword not found in your SEO meta description. On WordPress, no matter which plugin you are using, you always have this option. No matter which plugin you are using to edit the snippet. When I click on edit snippet here, you can see the description is empty. So what I can do, I can just write something. I can write how to downgrade WordPress version without breaking your website. Description should be a little more detailed and should be less than 160 characters. And when you start typing, you can see how many characters you already used. Three methods to roll back your WordPress version. If you can give more relevant information, that's fine. But you need to focus the target keyword in meta description also. You can see this is our target keyword: how to downgrade WordPress version. Now you can see we have 111 characters, so your meta description should be less than 160 characters. And title should always less than 60 characters. You can see we have 62. That's totally fine. We do not need to worry so much about it. And here you can see how our page will look when it will be displayed on Google search engine. This will be the URL of the page. This is the title, and this is the meta description. You can change everything from here. Once done, we scroll the page, and you can see we are now scoring 51. So focus keyword is used inside SEO meta description. Now it's saying focus keyword is not in the URL. So we can always click here, and what we can do, we can change the URL. You can see right now it says how to roll back dash downgrade WordPress version. Instead, we will just use how to downgrade WordPress version. And guys, make sure do not use spaces. Give dash like this. It's much better than giving space between the words. And that's how we added the focus keyword to the URL of this blog post. And you can see now we're scoring 60 out of 100. Now we scroll back. You can see this is also green focus keyword used in the URL. Okay, another we can see focus keyword does not appear at the beginning of the content. So now we need to add the focus keyword to the beginning of the content. It can be in the first paragraph. And guys, make sure do not just do keyword stuffing. Add the keyword when it makes sense. For example, you can see here it is written sometime after WordPress update your website breaks. In case you can still access WordPress and panel, then following this tutorial you can easily roll back 
downgrade your WordPress version to any previous version. So you can see I'm using this line here, but it is not exact my focus keyword. So what I can do, I can change the line to how to downgrade your WordPress version. You can see now we have added the focus keyword into the first paragraph also. And you can see it become green here and we are scoring now 66 out of 100. And then you can see content is 125 characters long. Consider using at least 600 words. So if you're a beginner, it's the first time you're writing blog posts, I recommend you please write at least 1000 to 1200 words if you're planning to apply for Google AdSense. Guys, it is really, really important. And when you write detailed blog posts, you learn how to write blog posts and your skills of writing blog posts will improve and you have much higher chances to be approved for Google AdSense. Let's do one thing, let's save this. And now you can see the blog post looks still same. Okay guys, now what I want you to do is think in your mind how you can improve this blog post. Because here you can see, I have written a blog post how you can downgrade the WordPress version. I have given all the steps, what else I can do? So I have already written this blog post here. For example, you can see what I did. Why downgrade WordPress? And then I gave example why somebody would need to downgrade WordPress. Because plugin or theme compatibility, custom code conflict, performance issues or features rollback. What to do before downgrading WordPress? Then explain that please back up your website, check the plugin theme compatibility or test in a staging environment. And which are basic steps? Just adding this more information to my blog post, make this blog post more valuable and high quality. And then what I do, instead of writing one method, I write three methods how you can downgrade a WordPress version. For example, first method by using WP downgrade plugin, which I originally wrote in this blog post. And then explain another method, downgrade your WordPress manually via FTP. And then third method using a backup to restore a previous version. You can see how easily I can improve this basic blog post to a detailed blog post. And you can see I have these screenshots here. So what I can do again is copy these screenshots and then in the first method which is originally explained in the blog post, I can add those screenshots in my post like this. I can copy and add all the screenshots from here and then I copy this whole blog post. Then I replace whole content with the new content. But when I change it, you can see focus keyword does not appear at the beginning of the content because I forgot this time when I rewrite the blog post to add the focus keyword in the first paragraph. You can see here this line, however, there are many times you may need to revert to an earlier version. I can just write here by following this post, you will learn how to downgrade WordPress version. You can see, you can now it is green here. We are scoring 64 and you can see content is 135 words long. You can see this is just example, 1000 words is totally fine. If you want to make it completely green, you can write more detail up to 2000 words. By that way, your post will be very detailed and very high quality. I'm not going to spend so much time here to write the complete blog post. Okay, now what we need to do is, if we click on additional, you can see a focus keyword is not found in subheading H2, S3, H4. So what we need to do here is, you can see we have this all option, why downgrade WordPress, what to do before downgrading WordPress, and then we have methods. So what you need to do is we need to add the focus keyword. So what I will do, I will very smartly add the focus keyword anywhere on the page. For example, so what I will do very smartly, you can see a method one, it says downgrade WordPress via WP downgrade plugin. I will write it how to downgrade WordPress version via WP downgrade plugin. You can see just by doing edit, we add our focus keyword to one of the headings. If you want, you can add this to more headings. At least one heading is totally fine. You don't need to add all the headings. For example, same downgrading WordPress. Instead of this, I will add manually via FTP. And you can see here, we have focus keyword found in the subheadings. Now you can see, add an image with your focus keyword as alt text. So alt text is a part of image SEO. It is very easy. For example, use any image on your blog post. For example, let's add an image here. So I click on add media and then I go to media library. I have added this image. So what you need to do is just double click on this post and then click on this pencil icon. And here you can add the alternative text. So guys, make sure you add your focus keyword here. You don't need to always write the exact focus keyword. You can write, learn how to downgrade WordPress without breaking your site. Step by step guide. And you can still read. It means we did some mistakes. So I go back and try to check again. So I think I forgot to add version. So I'll add version here. And now if I click on update, now I go back, you can see it is green now. Focus keyword found in image alt attribute. It is really easy for search engines when you have all the attributes, they understand what is image about because I know AI is coming, AI can read all the images and videos, but still it's very far and I don't think search engines want to spend so much energy of AI detecting what is inside the image. So better you write the alt text. It is good for image SEO on your website and you have better on-page optimization of your blog post. The next thing here you can see keyword density 0.19 which is low. The focus keyword in combination appears two times. What we can do, we can use this focus keyword multiple times on the page so the keyword density will increase. 
don't just add it 50 times to the blog post add it where it is naturally required sometimes it is totally fine you can leave it like this you don't need to make it completely 1 1.5 just try to add multiple places so that our focus keyword is targeted for example i can add it here how to downgrade wordpress version using a backup to restore a previous version using backup i don't need this and you can see here keyword density is now 0.29 you can try to add it some more places on your blog post. So all idea is to achieve the keyword density around one. Try to add focus keyword more on the blog post naturally. Try to create a complete sentence around it. Just don't add the same keyword everywhere. Try to use in a sentence and add multiple places and try to achieve it close to at least one. And then you can see UL 69 characters long. It's nice. Then links to external resources. If you can add link to external resources, that's the best thing. It is not mandatory guys. You do not need to add link to external website. But yes, if you can do it, why not? And this is the best time to add affiliate links. People who are already doing blogging for many years, they know how important to have affiliate income from your website. Your affiliate income will be much more than your Google AdSense income. For example, I'm using this plugin, WD Download plugin. What I can do, I can search for this plugin on Google and then try to find affiliate program the plugin. And then if I find a link, I can add that link to my blog post. Depending on the product or the thing you're using on a blog post, you can use affiliate program or not just this. You can add link to a high domain rating website or a very trustworthy website. Just take example. I take this link. I copy this link. I go back there and then I select this text and then I click on link here, insert, and then I insert this link. And you can see here we have at least one external link with do follow found in the content. That's really fine. And now we're going 75. And now we can see we could not find any internal links in your content. So what we can do guys, it is really important that you do the internal linking of your blog post on your website. For example, this is a blog post about how to downgrade WordPress version. But for example, you can see in the last point here, I talk about method three, which is how to downgrade WordPress version using a backup. So we are talking about backup here. Then I can check if I have a blog post about backup on my website. So what I can do, I can add the link of that blog post to this blog post. So for example, the backup here, what I will do, I'll just click here and add the link to that blog post. You can also click here on this gear icon to open it. And then when you open this, you can see all the pages on your website. For example, if there's a page of blog post which is related to backup, I can choose that blog post and then add to that link here. For example, there's one blog post which is related to backup. I can just click on this select and then add link. And then you can see you are linking to other resource on your website, which is great. So guys, make sure you do the internal linking of your website. It's really important. And you can see now we are scoring 80 out of 100. Now we have used AI content to optimize the post. If you're a beginner, it is not really important. You can leave like this. You will not have 100 out of 100, which is not at all important. Don't take too much stress about making this score 100 out of 100. Then we have title readability. You can see your title does not contain a number. When you add a number, it becomes like clickbait and people want to click on this number. For example, if you want to do this, I can say how to downgrade a WordPress version. And then, then I write three methods. So now we're green here using number in SEO and we're scoring 81. There's one thing remaining here, guys. If you can improve the content length and then if you can improve the keyword density by using focus keyword more into the content, this part will come green and then you will have a much better score. And guys, this was enough for a basic on-page SEO. You can do it any kind of website, no matter what kind of website you have. Check for all those things for this video. And even you don't need to have rank math plugin. What I'm telling you here, open this video, open your blog post and one by one, the things I explained in this video, try to implement on your website. And if you have any question related to on-page SEO, don't forget to comment on this video. I will try to do all the comments on this channel. And if this video helped you out, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. And please share this video with your colleague, your friends, or somebody who wants to learn SEO. And if you want to know how you can quickly index all your blog posts on Google search engine and rank top, then check this video on screen.